The JMMB mobile app is finally here and in this video I'll be giving you a complete tutorial on how you can use the mobile app. So to log in you're going to use your standard username and password that you use to log into the Moneyline website. Now an OTP will be sent to your mobile phone. Now this is the phone number that you have on file. Now if you do not have a phone number on file I suggest that you contact customer service and have your profile updated. Now there is a section on the website that allows you to add a phone number. You can try that out. I'm not sure if it will work. So let me head over to the website real quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. On the profiles menu, there is an option to add your cell phone number. So you can add your phone number here. Now I must say that when you add your phone number here, I don't know if that is a number they are going to send the OTP to. But give it a try if you do not get the OTP. Alright, so let's head over back to the mobile app. Once you log into the mobile app, once you're successfully logged in, you'll be given a portfolio summary as you can see. Below that, you have the option to see all accounts. If you expand this menu option here, you'll see all your bank accounts. And if you expand this option here, you'll see your investing accounts. Now, some of the features that you use on a daily basis are easily accessible from the bottom of the screen. So here you can do transfers, you can do bill payment, and from here you can view your stocks portfolio. Let's go back to the home for a minute. From the menu, you can also access your portfolio summary, pay bills, make transfers, view your stocks. However, the bonds option and the checks option are not yet available. Under the card options, this is a feature that is coming soon as well. So if you select statements, You'll be able to select the account that you want to generate the statement for. And as you know, you select the date range, right? And then you can generate your statement. So let's step back again. You have the ability to schedule transfers, right? Or if you have existing scheduled transfers, you can view them here. So when you select this option, you'll see schedule transactions that you have. But in my case, I don't have any. So that's why no transactions are being shown here. You have the ability to enable biometrics login. So if you select this option here, you're going to need to enter your password. Now, once you enter your password, it's submit and I've successfully enabled biometrics login. So I'll select OK and that's it. So nice little app. All the features that you need to use are readily available and you can look forward for more amazing features. As you can see, some of them are not yet available. So now I'll be going over some of the main transactions that you'll use the Moneyline app to do such as transfer, pay your bill and purchase a stock, right? So let's start with the transfer, right? So select the transfer button. Here, choose your transaction type. You can transfer between your own accounts, transfer to another JMB account, transfer to another local account or transfer to international accounts, right? So let's do transfer to another local account. So here I do have some beneficiaries on file. However, in your case, if you don't have any beneficiary, simply select add beneficiary. Here you complete the beneficiary details. And once everything is complete, you hit submit and that's it. So let's step back. So once your beneficiary is added, you're going to select the beneficiary. Click your source account, specify the amount that you want to transfer. Scroll up, you can add a note if you wish. For the delivery speed, you can do ACH. This is typically next day, right? Select your frequency, you can do it yearly, semi annually, quarterly, fortnightly, weekly, monthly, or just one time. So let's do one time for now. So this will be done the next business day as this is a weekend, and you can also add a note. So once you're satisfied with your transfer details, you select continue. Here's a summary of the transaction and then you'll select submit. However, I do not want to make a transfer now. I just wanted to show you how you could achieve this. So the next feature we're going to look at is the bill pay. So here I don't have any bill pay. So what you're going to do is select add pay. From the drop down, select the country of the pay. Select the biller. Let's look for a common one which everybody know. Let's say Digital Jamaica Limited. For the pay nickname, let's say Digicel, and then you simply add your account number and it submit. Then similarly to the money transfer, when you step back, you'll select the bill pay, then you'll go through the process of completing the bill transfer. 
you have the ability to purchase stocks directly from the app. So to purchase a stock, you simply search for the stock that you want to purchase. So in order to purchase stocks, you need an MR account. So you can scroll through the list of stocks, select a stock that you want to purchase, let's say TJH. It's very straightforward. You select buy, specify the amount of shares that you want to purchase, let's say 100. Scroll down, select your order type, whether it be market price or market limit. So market price is if you want it at the basically the next price that is available. While limit is if you're anticipating the stock price will fall from like say $3.16 to $3 then you set a limit of $3 right. So let's say market price for simplicity. Set your execution date. From the duration you select when you want your order to be good until so that that means if your order is not filled within the queue and by the option you choose here let's say good till date let's say the 29th of february your order will cancel by the state the next step is to hit buy review your transaction scroll down and hit submit so i'm going to allow the app to use my face id for authentication so this is a summary of the transaction, select done, and that's it. My order has been submitted. So to navigate off the screen, you select this icon at the top that says back. To view your order that you submitted, you select order status. Now you can see I have my order here. So let's step back again. So the gain or loss report is a feature that is pending, so it's coming soon. And trade is simply saying, hey, you want to buy or sell some stocks right and that's basically it for the money line app in a nutshell very easy to use nice user interface and to me it's way more user friendly than the website so that's it for now guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video